what to do here in this space. We need one more build, something epic, something beautiful in this space for Maple Bell. I got it. Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. How are y'all doing today? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be doing a fun and beautiful build. I cannot wait. We've been slowly but surely wrapping up Maple Bell. I cannot believe it. The end is in front of us and we've been doing an overgrown cottage core island. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today we have a little bit of work cut out for us, but I'm super excited and I know we're up for the task. We're gonna be creating an old fashioned country church. And I love this concept. This is something we did an old Spanish church on way back on Coco Bell. So if you've been with us for a while on the channel, you might remember this build. It's an old one, but a good one. So if you missed it and you're looking for some tropical inspo, something like that, please be sure to check it out. In fact, I, I might even link it in the description of the video for you guys. But for today's build, we are gonna go ahead and start with a little bit of terraforming. Here is a picture of what you might wanna start with if you're looking to do this build for yourselves. And yeah, really excited to do this build today because I think it's gonna be really epic on the island. I was looking for a really nice show-stopping piece towards the front of the island and it took me a minute to kind of come up with what might work well. And yeah, I think this is gonna be perfect. It's gonna be really kind of dilapidated and charming to kind of go along with the overgrown cottagecore look on the island. But I think I'm up for the challenge and I think, I, I hopefully you'll really like how this comes together and yeah, really excited. So let's go ahead and speed things up and get going and start setting down some path to fill in all of this area. All right, first things first, the path we're gonna set down here is sort of like an old worn board, and I like this version of it because there's a lot of fall leaves. Now, of course, if you're not doing a fall island, you could easily translate this build into something for spring if you're doing a spring island. I just happen to be doing a fall island right now, so we're gonna be incorporating lots of these things, but for sure, if you're doing a spring island, you could definitely translate this build into something like that. Anything overgrown would be fantastic. We are gonna be placing a lot of castle arches in this build, and we're gonna be doing a wedding or nuptial bell. Now, one thing to note when you're placing this item, make sure that the bell itself is twisted forward. That is one thing I highly recommend. You can see from this overhead view, the bell is facing forward because if you place the item in the wrong direction, the bar or the pull in the bell is gonna be blocking the beautiful view of the bell. So I highly recommend just make sure you check that as you're building so that you don't have to change it or climb back up and take down a lot of your items to fix it. All right, next thing, we're gonna go ahead and work on the next layer by placing more custom design patterns after we've done all of the surrounding of that top item with more arches. And we're gonna be basically working on surrounding this and sandwiching everything together to kind of surround it with more, you guessed it, of the arches. I really like this particular kind of mossy old brick version of this. It just gives a really nice dilapidated look. Now depending what style your island is, you could go with one of the other versions of this. For the Spanish church that we did on Maple Bell, we did sort of the cream colored clean brick and we actually utilized a lot of the ruined arches in that build and it really turned out fantastic. It was just more of a clean fancy look. We also incorporated some of the pirate cannons which I think really gave it that Spanish look and I really liked how that one turned out so again if you're looking for more of that style church build please check out that build video I will link it in the description of the video for you if you're looking for more of that vibe if you're doing more of a tropical island highly recommend that one like I said it's an older video but definitely still useful if you're looking for that vibe okay so let's catch up with this I have placed a simple panel in the middle and some storefronts and then I've demolished part of this cliff the reason I did that is because I felt like we could definitely make a tighter build in this area by doing that I think by pushing some of these items a little bit closer it's just going to make a make for a nice compact look for this build so we're going to go ahead and fill in the pattern here as we place in more of the storefronts and then we're going to go ahead and surround it with more of the arches as we go along now since we're doing an overgrown island I'm opting to put some vines back here again if you're not doing an overgrown island you could definitely replace it with another type of item depending on what style island you have really just use your creativity and and that's what I love about Animal Crossing New Horizons. There's so much open creativity in our community and just do what feels right to you. All right, let's focus a little bit on the pathing down here. Again, I'm doing a lot of fall type of pathing because our island is set in the fall, but this particular pattern I love. This is a sidewalk pattern with these beautiful fall leaves. I know that this creator has created a lot of different versions of this path, so if you're looking for something really fantastic to use, I actually used a different version of this path on Coco Bell when we did the Spanish church. 
and other areas of the island when we did hit a hidden temple. There's just a lot of different versions. So if you're looking to use something like this on your island, but you're not doing a fall island, please still check it out because there's a lot of different versions of this that might still work on your island. And there's a, a coordinating step pattern that looks fantastic. So please be sure to check that out. Again, I will put in the description of the video a link to my Pinterest page that has all of these different patterns that we're using in today's build. So that if you're looking to use any of these on your island, you'll have them readily available. Okay, back to demolishing more cliff. I know this seems redundant, but this is definitely something you'll want to consider as you're building your church if you're looking to do this. Again, it's just a nice way to be able to scooch in more of the items as we're kind of building up the surrounding bottom tier of our build. It's going to look really great when we're done, I promise. All right, back to more pathing. I will fill in some of this when we're done so that when we're all finished with the build, you'll be able to see the finished product. I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of where to mark it out. I'm a huge fan of that. When I'm doing pathing, one of the questions I get a lot on the channel is how do I even begin to mark out the path on the island? I sort of just get an idea of where I want the path to go and I'll sort of do an outline of it first. Once I have a basic idea of where I want the path to go, I'll do an outline and then fill in the middle sections after the fact. And then once I get my path down I will start placing items afterwards to sort of fill in how I want everything to look that's the basic idea I try to have sort of an open mind of where I want it to be but that's the idea behind it and then once I have an idea like if I'm doing a villager house or a build surrounding a building on the island I usually take some sort of in-game path and mark it out based on the number of squares just to kind of hold that space for that building so that I have an idea in my head of where I want the building to go it definitely kind of keeps that in mind and makes it a little bit easier Okay, now that we have our path in place, let's go ahead and fill in our steps, and then we can go ahead and fill in some of our items to finish up the church build for the day. Okay, let's finish the exterior of our church building. I really like this um, medieval building side. I think it's gonna look perfect for our build over here. I have put a simple panel with this old worn door, and then I've put a, another castle arch here in the front. You can already see our church taking shape, and I just really like the look of this, but I think it's missing something. So what I'm gonna do is add these simple panels here in the front. I found this really super beautiful church window pattern here. I think that for this particular build, since it's more of a rustic church, using these simple panels, I think in the front of the church is really gonna give a lot of character to this bit build itself and depending on what style church you're going for you could definitely use some beautiful custom design patterns I've seen so many that are either like stained glass patterns FYI I ended up finding pecan for us I didn't have time to do a full-on villager hunt video for this just for the sake of time because as you all know fall is dwindling and I wanted to make sure we were able to do a few more build videos but I was able to find pecan for us I know she was one of the suggestions you guys had and so I'm really excited Excited that we were able to find her. But back to our build, I really like these med medieval building sides. I just really like to do builds that bring up different options for you guys. So if you're not doing a cottage core or country style island, you definitely could use the bare, the bare bones of this particular build to do whatever version of this you want for your island. Or if you're doing something more ornate, you could do something really beautiful like that. You could do something more simple. It just depends on what style church you're going for. Okay, let's jump forward so you can see the finished product with everything filled in. Yes, I love this. Okay, so as you can see, I have filled in with a lot of different things. I decided to put a cemetery in the front because I think that's pretty common for a country church for people to have like an old cemetery with lots of old gravestones. I opted to use a lot of the old mossy gravestones here in the front, along with the, the stone lanterns, the tall lanterns over here. Just really an overgrown look with weeds and piles of leaves and things like that. I know it's a little bit somber, but I wanted to give it sort of a really beautiful effect over here. And... You can see Shep walking through here with his sandwich. Not really a place to stop and have lunch, bud. I'm not really not really sure why he's having his lunch in the cemetery. Oh, it makes me so sad. Are you visiting your friend? God bless him. He's so sweet. But all in all, I'm really happy with how this build came together. I really love this church. I think it's just something that's going to be a really beautiful addition to the island. And honestly, I hope that it's something that brings some inspiration to you for for your islands, whether you're doing an old style country church like this, or if you're looking to do something a little bit more modern and clean or a Spanish style church, be sure to check out that video from Coco Bell. I'll link that in the description for y'all if you're looking to do something like that. But yeah, like I said, I really hope that this brings you some inspiration and I hope that this build will be something that you can make your own and sort of put your own twist on it. So whatever 
theme island you are working on, on your particular space in Animal Crossing New Horizons, I hope that this build brings you some inspo that you can take back to use for yourselves and make your own. And if it's something that you do, I would love to see your version of this build. Be sure to tag me on Instagram. You can find me on Instagram at Peppy Crossing Play. I always love to see how your version of these builds come together. And if you like this type of content, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I always love hearing from you guys and your support really has truly meant the world to me. I'm really looking forward to doing a final tour here soon on Maple Bell. I can't wait to share the finished product of this island. It has been so much fun and believe it or not, fall is wrapping up and I can't wait to share this island. So be on the lookout for the final tour. It's been a complete blast and like I said, I've appreciated all of your support. It's been amazing. All right, guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Wishing y'all an amazing day. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one.